I had the most incredibly powerful vision come to me just the other day. And it has to do with getting out of your comfort zone, really changing your life. And if you really keep trying to do that and keep trying to stretch your boundaries and you find you keep getting pulled back, this vision that I had completely explains exactly what's going on. It's actually a fantastic analogy. So I was meditating and I had this image come to me of being on the shore and getting into a boat. There was a boat there and I get into this boat and I start just navigating my way out to sea away from shore. And as I start moving away from the shore, I look back and I could see land and I'm feeling pretty good. And I'm looking out in front of me and there's nothing there but open water and open sea, right? So I keep going. Well, I could keep going because I know I have the comfort of the land behind me that I could still see. So I'm able to, to keep moving out there. It's getting a little bit uncomfortable in this vision as I'm moving out further and further from the shore. In fact, it gets increasingly uncomfortable as the land behind me gets farther and farther away. I kept going. I kept going in this, this vision. I kept moving forward. I kept moving out into the open sea, into the unknown, still having a little bit of a glimpse of the land behind me. It's like it gave me comfort. I knew that I had a safe space to go back to, and I knew how to get back to it if I just really felt that I couldn't move forward anymore. But there came a point in this vision when I lost sight of the land behind me, and that became a panicky type of a situation, right? So when we're expanding, when we're growing, when we're downloading and integrating our higher selves, we're being asked to lean into a space that is completely new, that is completely uncomfortable. Now, you're going to have aspects of the old you still come up that are going to feel very familiar. So as your higher self's asking you to expand you may feel like you want to shrink back into the old because the old is still there and it's ever-present. You just feel it, right? You get triggered, nervous system reacts, you're back to who you were, and there's an odd sort of comfort to that. Just like in this vision, I always had that thought. What allowed me to keep going was the knowing that at any moment, if the fear overwhelmed me, I could just turn around and get out of Dodge. I could go back to land. The land was still there. I was still able to see it, right? Well, that very response, that very reaction is what keeps us from finally getting across that ocean to the new future. We go out, we get uncomfortable, but we end up shrinking back or returning back to the shore. We never allow ourselves to go past the point where we can no longer see what was behind us, but yet we can't yet see what's ahead of us because we have to trust. All we have is our trust at that point in time. To be able to let go of what was behind you, not being able to see or go back to that anymore is a very scary feeling. And that feeling is that boundary that often prevents you from truly finding fulfillment, from truly changing, from truly becoming the person who you are meant to be. Your higher self wants you to step into that void, to step into that uncomfortableness, that zone of not being able to see land behind you, where you came from, and yet not being able to see land in front of you. This is the analogy in this, right? The land where you're headed. It's not there. Your senses cannot see it. Now, in your heart, you feel the fear as you leave behind the old, without seeing the new, but yet you know you're being guided in a new place. It's like this gentle breeze is just feeding the sail and carrying you forward. The only way you won't get to where you want to be, which is the new you, is by turning around and going back. If you allow that wind to carry you, to carry you beyond where you have the safety of knowing that land is behind you, where you could still see it, right, to carry you beyond that point to where it's no longer visible to you, to allow that wind to just keep taking you out further and further and further into the new, towards a destination that is not yet seen, 
that takes tremendous trust, right? That takes tremendous sense of presence. That takes being able to feel, allow yourself to feel that fear, right? When we let the fear take over, we're going to turn around and we're going to rush back to safety, right? That's going to be another attempt at expanding, another attempt at changing your life, another attempt at manifesting abundance, having a loving relationship, finding the perfect career, finding a new career, whatever that future looks like for you, right? The safety of the land, the place where you've been, that comfort zone is always pulling you back. And the farther you move away from it, the stronger that pull is going to become because you are leaning into an unseen place known as the, un, the unknown. And that's very uncomfortable. Can you muster the courage? Can you find a state of presence to be able to lean into that unknown? To be able to lose sight of the safety of the land behind you as you navigate out into sea without knowing, being able to see your destination. That is what this journey is all about. We are here to live in the moment and stay as centered and present and as aligned as we can and allow the currents of our soul, the energy of our soul, to move us forward moment by moment. The safety of the old remains, but when that allure comes up, do you have the ability to allow yourself to stay on task in the current of the flow of your higher self? And as you continue to move forward into that unknown, into that uncomfortable zone, as the old landscape fades away and the new hasn't quite appeared yet, are you confident enough to be able to see that journey through? That is all too often where people, again, turn around and row back to shore against the wind of their higher self, right? Guiding them to the new. It's like an invisible barrier, right? We don't want to lose sight of who we once were, so we continue returning to it. And when you do that, you continue to manifest the same life that you've been living for years and even decades. We're on an amazing journey in an amazing space, in an amazing place. And we are here as energetic beings manifested into the physical to be able to experience the thrill and excitement of leaning into the unknown. This process, this ascension journey is absolutely incredible and magical. But it asks one important thing of you. And that is to be able to transcend who you once were. To manifest who you are to become. And in many situations, we don't have the vision of what that looks like. But what we do have is, is trust. Trust in your knowing that you are safe in this moment. Trust in your knowing that you are connected to your higher self. And trust in your knowing that you will be guided along your highest path. As long as you can have the courage to experience the calls of your ego calling you back to land, the land you left for safety, and yet continue moving forward. That's the key. There's going to come a point in your journey when you're not going to be able to go back to where you came from, and yet you can't fully see where you're going. Continue to move forward. Be the captain of that boat. Hoist that sail and allow the winds of your higher self to guide you away from the old and into the new. It's the journey, it's the experience that is the most incredible thing, the incredible piece of this journey. 
that thing that helps propel you and make you into the multidimensional being that you were meant to become right here in this reality. Have that courage. Have that strength. Feel the safety within your own body and be guided by the winds of your higher self. Magic will unfold from that. If this video resonated with you, please watch this one next. Thank you so much.